volleyball. A game of passion. A game of pressure. A game of rhythm. A game of discipline. A game of strategy. A game of precision. A game of love. A game of wins. A game of losses. A game of inches. A game of culture. A game of potential. A game of system. A game of creativity. A game of competition. A game of opportunity. Opportunities that allow a kid from Slowing Gradits, Aus, Hausach, Sydney, Rakvere, St. Catherine des Aras, Novisad, Zalo, to make a name for himself. Opportunities to show what you're made of. Opportunities to play on the biggest stages, in the brightest lights. Volleyball. How we are created. All righty, ready, ready. Do I just go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi guys, my name is Nehemiah Alessandro Motte. Um, I was born in Sydney, Australia, and I've been with the Australian national team for eight years. Motte through the middle puts the ball down. We've got Joker Nehemiah Motte. And to play them in their hometown, we're going to have the whole crowd against us, the whole, the whole country. Well, Samoans get down and dirty. No, <laughs> I'm one of nine kids. I've got five sisters and three brothers. None of my siblings played volleyball at any level. My dad used to play a little bit of club volleyball in Sydney when he moved from Samoa. In 2012, when I was 19, that's when I decided to join a volleyball club. But prior to that, I was not allowed to pursue sport at all. So that's the reason why it took me a while to join a club because my parents um, didn't allow us to pursue sport at, at, at that age because of um, they wanted us to put our head in the, in the books, education first and whatnot. My path and my experiences, I started uh, yeah, 2012 as a 19 year old learning the sport. From there, I participated in a tournament in Canberra and I got scouted by um, former national team coaches and captains as well. At that time, I was only playing for fun. They saw that I had, I could jump, I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't spike a ball to save my life, I couldn't block anything. But uh, they saw that I could jump and maybe they had, I had potential. I then, for three months straight, I had a call, I had this, 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 this private number kept calling me for three months straight. I never pick up private numbers. One time I finally picked it up, Mara told me to pick it up and it was the head coach for the development of Australian volleyball based in Canberra. He was like, look, I've been trying to call you for like three months. Um, we want you to come down and sort of uh, like an open day, we want to show you our facilities, show you our program and see what you want to do. From social volleyball to then bypassing everything that n kids normally go through, going straight to the AIS, Australian Institute of Sport, um, that was unique. That was something that kids don't normally do. Being here at the AIS, we have the benefits of working with some of the top resources in the country. We work with sports science professionals, nutritionists and physiologists, as well as strength and conditioning. And the normal process is kids will play in high school. If, if their high school has a volleyball program, which is not common, and then they would participate in what's called school's cup. Schools Cup is the biggest secondary event, secondary high school event in Australia. And from there, that's where you play in front of the right eyes. So you, there's development coaches, there's, you know, junior national team, you know, staff, all of that sort of stuff. From there, then they get scouted into like a prospective development squad for the national team or their states. Even, even the path that kids would normally have, the usual path, it's, it's like, it's the structures and even the education around that is, it, there needs to be more work. There's some states in Australia where you have 
many uh, volleyball, volleyball schools, like as a subject, where, for example, a kid in Sydney, there's no volleyball schools in there, so they would have to even move states. Nehemia Mote, so cool. Australia, so lässig. Die Attitüde des Mittelblockers. Mit einer Hand blockt er die Angriffsbemühungen und Hoffnungen auf den Satzausgleich der Berliner ab. Aus allen Winkeln. Höchst spektakulär. What are the desires from what you know of kids? And is it, is it an accessible resource? Like, do they know much about it for kids in Australia to go play at universities in the US? And is that an option that they would consider? Or are they more looking to go just play pro right away? Um, I had a chat with a, with a couple of guys who, who, who went to, like Aussie guys who went to USA colleges. And they both said the same thing, two things. The desire is there, like Aussie kids want to go to USA to play volleyball. Uh, so I, I played beach a couple of years ago and then I went over to America and played at uh, the college level. Kobe Aziz, a 6'4 sophomore from Australia. There's not enough uh, education on how to get there and the, the financial side of it when when there's only four and a half, I think there's only four and a half scholarships. Yeah. So these guys, I mean, these these guys are generational talents. We probably won't see another couple of guys like this. They got full rides. It's not every guy can get one of those. So then what becomes more accessible is Canada, for example, or lower league pros, Denmark, Sweden, just to get the foot in the door. But in terms of the, uh, the US, there is 100% desire. Kids want to go. The appeal is so, it, it's like, you don't need to say it. You can watch any like American movie. Kids want to go, want to have fun, want to, want to ball out over there. But there needs to be more education around that, on those steps. Good guys, good to see you for practice. Um, as you know, we don't have a lot of practice to do here, so we use the practice here for warm up well, to make some repetition, to have some more control. We uh, have little funding. We have little funding. In 2019, we had a cut uh, of our funding. It didn't help also that we didn't qualify for Rio, so it's very performance based. And before we talk about this weekend, let's just touch briefly on what happened in Tokyo and all that sort of stuff. But I'd imagine there was a fair bit of disappointment. Yeah, I mean, obviously you go there with one goal and that's to qualify for the Olympics and to not to not get there and to be real close and to have, you know, that final match against Poland and, and not come up with the goods was really disappointing. And, um, you know, we've had a few days to think about that, but in the end, you just got to move on and we've got a, a big assignment here with World League. So that's what we're thinking about now. The ASC, the Sports Commission, had made a change to fund or even overfund sports with that are multi-medal sports. So for example, swimming. And the Australian to win the gold medal. It's Australia first and an Olympic record. There's so many strokes. There's a lot of strokes and there's a lot of medals to be won. Where in volleyball, for example, there's only a few. There's men's, women's, indoor and beach. So that's where the shift of funding went in during that time. Each tournament, we are going in there, not only wanting to perform for the country, but we're also performing for the program and for we perform for the kids and for the program as a whole. Because when we don't perform, our funding goes down, their funding goes down. We have that sort of uh, in the back of our minds as well, which is an extra motivation in itself. The continued support of grassroots, that's starting to happen. Grassroots volleyball, so kids at a young age getting into it, having fun, that sort of thing can like, I don't know, inspire a kid and like really grab onto that, their passion at a young age. And when there's passion, there's more participation. And when there's more participation, the demand for resources and infrastructure and blah, 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 that would sort of, so really focusing or continued focus on the grassroots 
uh, I think would would help. We don't have in Oz a volleyball stadium, like specifically for volleyball. We we always play in arenas that are converted to volleyball. And when I think about basketball, I think about rugby, kids growing up, they're like, oh man, I want, I, I want to play at the MCG. I want to play at this venue. I want to play. But volleyball, it's, it's not as... So that like aspiring aspect, I think that would be awesome for kids.